Hey guys, this is Backlog Gaming, back with another anime episode recap. Today we're going to be covering Gangsta, episode 4. Now, this episode starts off very interesting. Um, we have the handyman, Nicholas and Warwick, there at the police station being asked about a crime where there's multiple dead bodies of women um, that were found cut up and decapitated in a warehouse. Now, essentially what we see in this scene is um, Warwick eventually uses his photographic memory in order to um, identify all the suspects that they cannot identify since their faces are all smashed and their bodies are all mutilated. Um, upon doing that, they are released. That's kind of the deal that they have. Um, with the officers is as long as they provide information to whatever they can, they let them go at that point for all of their uh, crimes that they've been committing and whatnot. Now, we also see in this area a little bit more of a flashback to uh, Warwick's past and how he met um, Nicholas going forward. Now, I kind of wanted to see this information, you know, in this story unfold directly so upon seeing this you kind of see that um he was assigned as a bodyguard a personal bodyguard of warwick's by warwick's family um nicholas from there then kind of starts to build a friendship with uh warwick you see that warwick helps him you know a little bit with reading and and learning going forward but he finally finds out that um Nicholas is actually deaf at that point when he is a child. He then starts to freak out a little bit and won't come out of his room. Uh, he doesn't feel safe that somebody that inferior would be assigned to protect him. For some reason, his life feels threatened. I don't know what's going to go on with that. I kind of want to see more story develop there to kind of know why he's acting the way he's acting. Basically, the cops get a call. They cut the two loose. From there, they end up heading over to find Mr. Monroe. Now, this individual is a mob leader um, or a mob boss. From there, he's been trying to be assassinated by a group of gentlemen. Most of the time, it's just strictly, you know, individuals with machine guns trying to kill him and um, just normal humans. Now, he does have a couple Twilights on his payroll, um, one of them being Nicholas, the other one being in his main group that actually follows him around. Now, the one that's in his main group isn't as powerful as Nicholas, but he can still react fast enough to stop assassination attempts that would be happening. Now, what ends up happening is that a kid comes forward that is essentially a Twilight or a Tag and attempts to assassinate Mr. Monroe. Now, brief overcap, this story ends where you see Nicholas ultimately intercept this Twilight um, kid, and they are the same rank, and that rank is A slash zero. Um, the episode ends with Mr. Monroe telling his men to place bets on who's going to win because he's never seen um, two of them on this caliber, on this level face off against each other so it should make for an in interesting fight unfortunately it does cut at that part um some other aspects is that we do see alex in this episode for a short while now alex appears to be having um hallucinations or second thoughts about barry um dying and his dead body telling her that she's going to have to live with that the rest of her life now that's something that she's going to be dealing with psychologically Obviously, going forward, um, my overall impressions of this episode is that it was pretty good, um, pretty exciting leading up. I mean, we kind of got to see a little bit more background history between Warwick and Nicholas and how they met. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed seeing that not only Nicholas has powers, but so does Warwick with the photographic memory where he kind of takes off the eye patch. And then from there, his eye kind of turns this bright blue and he starts flipping through pages really fast to read information and, and starts spitting out all this information that the detective starts to write down. Now, uh, Another interesting part that I'm looking forward to the next episode since this episode really ended on a cliffhanger was the assassination of Mr. Monroe and how that unfolded with this child um, trying to kill him. Um, 
it's going to be interesting to see Nicholas obviously fight this individual. That's what I'm most looking forward to in the next episode is seeing how that battle on unwinds and how it's animated and everything. The, the overall episode kind of seemed like not a lot happened. So that's why mostly this is going to be a shorter recap. It's just strictly because um, they spent most of their time running to Mr. Monroe to catch up to him. And it was more focused on the flashbacks and histories between the two to um, Nicholas and Warwick and how they met. So I'm interested overall. The episode was still good. I'm not going to sit here and bash it because it didn't have a lot happen in it. Obviously it's a story builder um, episode with the history. You're kind of, kind of, kind of seeing a little bit more of what's happening with Alex and her mental state going forward. And you are also, um, starting to see some new Twilight show up here. Now, that's the most interesting part is seeing these powerful humans fight each other and see what they're capable of. So, it's definitely progressing. Um, if you haven't started this anime, I, again, I highly recommend it. This is the fourth episode. Every episode prior to this, I have recommended. Um, so, at this point in time, we're almost, you know, five episodes in. That's about mm, a little almost 20% done or so so if, if it's good enough so far i'm going to still recommend that people watch it and carry forward because i'm assuming that it's still going to be a good anime overall unless for some reason they felt hurried at the end and somehow end up butchering what they have created so far um with that if you guys want to see more episode recaps of other animes i'm watching feel free to like and subscribe always comment down below always tag um anything in the discussion with spoiler tags we don't want to be ruining anything for anybody. Um, I will be tagging this video, obviously, with a spoiler, so they should be aware, but just to make sure that that's the case. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.